how to update BIOS MSI Z790 Tomahawk if you want to update MSI Z790 so this video is for you so first of all the first step you can do is so what you will do just you have the USB first and you have to format this USB into FAT32 type and uh, for the storage reason ideally you have to download the files on USB so and uh, just here what you will do just connect your usb here you can see you say on this bios port and here you can see you have this little tiny button just hold on for a couple of seconds or two until the flash is on after this motherboard website and here you have your version and just here you have to select support and when you will select support here you will come onto this window and select drivers and downloads and when you will select the drivers and downloads here you can see you will scroll down and you have the latest version and uh, download the latest version and if you want to download according to your choice so you can scroll down and download that version according to your choice so this is the latest version just select download and it will be downloaded to so make sure the file is downloaded on your usb and if it is zip file then just unzip it and after that here you have to go on m flash here you can see just select m flash and after selecting that it is just it is asking that system will auto reboot so you want to enter in flash mode so yes you want to so just select yes and after selecting yes here is your drive so you can see this and select this and then you have just make sure that you have the latest version and you have your version you have the msi version so just select this and after this are you sure to select this file so yes we want to show just select yes and here it will take couple of seconds make sure that the power supply is on so device is not turned off and uh, just not turn off your device by yourself as well manually just be careful and it will take couple of seconds after updating bios what you will do here you can see you are on this window here you have one two three so just select two option here and here you can see advanced f7 so you have to select advanced f7 as well and after that uh, save configuration and exit so yes whatever we configure it and whatever the settings we did we want to save that so just select yes and you will select yes so this is how you updated your msiz 790 tomahawk but still if you have confusion then just comment down below i will help you and guide you hope you like this video and subscribe this channel